I'm sure we can all agree that sculpted cakes are really cool to look at, but I do know that every time I make one, I get a lot of comments from you guys. Um, not so happy with the amount of wasted cake that happens from sculpting cakes. I want to show you in this video a really good way to repurpose all of these cake scraps. So yes, I want you guys to know that I don't waste all of this cake. I actually most of the time put it to really good use and it's not to feed myself or my dog. It's actually to make the cake look better. So check this out. Because today the key to the success of this cake is all in the scraps. So I am just going to carve away and then I'm going to crumb coat this cake so that it doesn't dry out. All right, time for the scraps. So I am putting all these scraps down and I'm going to knead them to make dough. The reason this is working so well is because I actually have buttercream mixed in with a cake. So it is all gonna come together really nicely. All right, and now I am going to roll a bunch of balls of similar sizes. which is super easy to do because the dough is not cold and easy to, easy to work with. And now I'm going to cut these in half for the most part, and I'm going to just attach them to my cake. These are the bubbles in the bubble bath. I am now going to cut a little section off to make room for a little baby head. Yes, because this bathtub is full of bubbles because there's a little baby taking a bath in it. So we gotta make room for him. This is why planning out the cakes is very important. And now I've used up all of my cake scraps and now I'm gonna decorate the cake. So first I am covering the top of the cake with a light blue fondant, which is going to be my bubble bath. It's gonna be the bubble part of the cake. And with my fingers and some tools, I'm going to shape this just the way I wanted to. And that's gonna be it. These are the bubbles. And then next, I'm going to cover the whole cake, the whole bathtub in white fondant. And I am going to show you guys how I did all of that in another video. So for today, you guys can rest assured that there was absolutely no cake left behind. I know I've gotten a lot of comments from people worried about how much cake is wasted. And definitely when we sculpt cakes, we definitely carve away a lot of cake, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to end up in the trash. As we are sculpting cakes. There's also parts that need to be added back onto the cake. And some people can do that using fondant. I choose to use my cake scraps for it. Not only does it taste delicious, but you are saving the cake scraps. So it's a really good way to put them to use. Okay, this is it. This is it for the cake scraps today. I actually hardly ever let my cake scraps go to waste. And I'm sure a lot of you guys don't either. And I would love to know what you guys are doing with your cake scraps. So please let me know, leave me a comment below and share with you, share with me some of your ideas. 
I am actually going to release a video showing you guys how I made this whole bathtub cake from beginning to end. And if you guys uh, stay tuned, you will see that video come up at some point in the future. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Hit that thumbs up and share my video. Thank you. Go. Almost there. Almost there. Bye.